China's most mysterious high-speed train runs every day but doesn't carry any passengers. Even if you have money, you can't ride on it. In this video, let us learn more about it. In China, there is one of the most mysterious high-speed railways. One can be driven out every day, but no passengers are allowed to ride on it, even if they are paid. What exactly is this high-speed train? Why don't even the passengers want to sit? Some people may ask, is this someone chartering a car? But there are no extra passengers in the car. In fact, this high-speed train has its own special mission and is related to the operation of the entire high-speed rail line. This matter needs to be explained in detail as China's economic strength continues to improve. The quality of life of the Chinese people is also constantly improving. People no longer care about food and clothing issues as they did in the past, but pay more attention to enjoying material consumption. From simple material needs to the pursuit of high-level spiritual needs. Over the years, China has not only greatly improved people's livelihood, but also developed rapidly in infrastructure construction. Especially in terms of transportation, Chinese people no longer stick to walking and cycling. There are also various modes of transportation to choose from, such as airplanes and high-speed rail. People can make reasonable choices based on different travel needs and economic levels. Today, China has a decisive voice in the world, and it has even been called the infrastructure maniac. High-speed rail is a means of transportation that China is proud of. It is famous for its vast high-speed rail network and has been launched to the world. But China's high-speed rail undertaking has not been smooth sailing. Even when technology levels are low and funds are in short supply, China still has not given up on building high-speed rail. From learning from experience to independent research and development, today's high-speed rail network has been built bit by bit. Now it is at the forefront of the world. It is expected that while achieving the two centenary goals, full coverage of high-speed rail will also be achieved. What happened to that train? We usually name this train Pilot. What is Pilot? To understand it literally, it means to be at the forefront, to lead and take the lead. Indeed, that is exactly what the pilot train does. This high-speed train named Pilot is not an ordinary train, but a train specially used for high-speed rail track inspection and safety assurance. It is independently developed by China and conducts comprehensive, accurate and real-time monitoring and analysis on different high-speed rail lines every day. Unlike ordinary trains, it does not carry passengers to ensure professionalism and efficiency. Its main task is to check various parameters of the track and promptly detect and report any abnormalities or hidden dangers. To ensure detection accuracy and efficiency, this pilot train runs on different high-speed rail lines every day. Its advanced testing equipment can comprehensively detect the flatness, curvature, cracks, looseness and other parameters of the track. Every morning, the pilot will set off on time, walking on the high-speed rail track first to clear the way for the high-speed rail behind. It is also a way for railway staff to check tracks and survey data. Of course, due to the pioneering nature of the pilot, there are no service staff such as train conductors on board. In addition to the driver, there are only one technician and two inspectors on board. Tourists are even less likely to appear. After all, this pilot belongs to the railway and is not open to the public. Therefore, even if tourists have huge wealth, they cannot take this train. If tourists want to force their way onto the train, they are interfering with railway work and will be held responsible. For this special train, the railway staff also placed very high expectations. 
During the entire operation of the train, staff will continue to monitor, check all changes inside and outside the train, and determine whether unexpected situations may interfere with the operation of the high-speed train. This can also be used to determine whether the maintenance of the railway staff is in place. Yes, exactly the overhaul. Many people are very curious as to why trains do not run at night. In fact, this is mainly to allow train staff to have enough time to inspect the trains. Check whether there is any malfunction or abnormal situation to ensure that the train can complete the train operation smoothly and safely the next day. This is responsible for the safety of passengers. Once the pilot is successfully operated, it means that other high-speed rails will basically have no problems, which greatly confirms the safety of the new high-speed rail operations. Ever since, the new high-speed rail has started. There is no doubt that the emergence of high-speed rail is an opportunity to change lives and represents the progress of new transportation. China's high-speed rail system began construction in 2005 and currently has an operating mileage of more than 40,000 kilometers, accounting for more than 70% of the world's total high-speed rail mileage. Covering 95% of urban areas with a population of over 500,000, it transported 1.77 billion passengers in the first half of this year, equivalent to 22% of the global population. This huge high-speed rail network provides strong driving force and support for China's economic and social development. Since the advent of high-speed rail, people have more options for transportation options. We can choose our favorite city, travel to our favorite place, and dine at our favorite restaurant. On the high-speed rail, we can enjoy the scenery along the way, read the books we like to read, and do what we want to do. Moreover, the operation of high-speed rail is very user-friendly. Although it is basically out of service at night, if it happens on festivals with huge crowds such as the Spring Festival and National Day, people's demand for high-speed rail will often surge at this time. Relevant agencies and staff will increase the speed of the high-speed train appropriately based on scientific calculations or choose to run part of it at night to meet people's travel needs. But when we enjoy the beauty brought by high-speed rail, we must think of a group of people working silently behind the scenes. It is their tireless construction day and night that gives us the opportunity to take the high-speed rail and makes our lives more convenient. The construction and operation of high-speed rail systems require a large number of railway personnel. Design and build high-speed rail lines and bridges, maintain and repair equipment and vehicles, dispatch and direct operations, and serve and protect passengers. Countless railway staff work hard every day and contribute silently to the safety and smooth operation of the high-speed rail system. Although the high-speed rail pilot does not carry passengers, it is a silent guardian of the high-speed rail system. We should bear in mind the hard work of railway staff and work together to ensure the safety, comfort and rapid operation of high-speed rail so that this efficient mode of travel can better benefit society. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.